Hello and welcome to the MPS Show, episode 538. I'm your host, Anzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is Amazing Celestia and lots of new fighters appear in China. China isn't just hard and coffee. They are apparently going all in on a brand new figure set from a company called Ayu. Celestia is in the piece with a lot of chibi style main sticks and others included or below. <coughs> wow. Ah, this is the uh one series I forgot. Mm. Okay, um, I'm still processing what this could be. I I I get a general idea, but this one is something else. I think. Hmm. Okay. So what we're seeing here is. Uh, Try and get a look. <clears throat> what uh thing here is um is a kuji. What that is, it's uh, it's popularized by the Japanese Japanese where pay some money, try and get some random items. It's basically a loot box kind of thing, but in real life. So you pay certain money, you put your hand into a box and pull out a card. And the card does, the card tells you what letter you have from S to E. And depending on the card that you get, you'll get the prize. For example, if you get a card, you'll get something like this. Or it is like, hmm. uh, I'm not 100% sure. But this are they could be cards, they could be um stuff. Uh, I, I don't reach any, so I don't know. So if you get like the S, the oh my god, the super special awesome rare thing, you'll get this. And each of them are limited. For example, the S Celestia thingy or the figure is one out of one kuji. And the height is about 118 centimeters. And um, the final one, the last one. Uh, the last one, this is something I... How do I put this? This is something new, I think. I haven't really seen this before, but what I'm assuming is the last one is, okay, you're the last person to pull from Rikuji. You'll get an E, but as a consolation or as a thank you price for just finishing the Rikuji, you'll get this last piece. The nice Celestia, but looks Opry, bronze, whatever it is, and so on. So also that's one of one out of one, and the uh, A grade here is only four out of the. I think so, two or two and four, maybe there's still six. I don't know, and so on and so on, and so on. So you get basically random prizes and whatnot, and you can see that they stack the. Fuji with a lot of E, D's, and C's. Like what? Uh, E's have what? 10 of D. D has about 20. E has about 6. So you can tell that, oh, uh, this is what I'll be getting. And uh, this is interesting. Um, instead of using a box with Random cards. They 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 are doing this kind of thing where they just pull it out of a pack of well consider consider like magic cards, and you get uh stuff inside. I'm not hundred percent sure, but these are some of the kujis that you get. Like if you go to any anime fest or whatnot, you can see um what certain brand certain IPs like usually Dragon Ball, My Hero and so on. They give you certain like okay towel figures, 
classes and whatnot. I, I played some. It was oh, I think. But yeah, uh, Onis. This, this is interesting, and they're not doing the box thing with, with, in Japan. Um, cartoons, anime shows, whatever. They put their hand. They kind of get that ball or whatever it is. Uh, this is the same scenario. You put your hand into a box, you pull out a card, you rip out the card, and it goes to the letter grade. And, yeah, um, when he's doing this, I ain't nice. But still, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> U2's post Pinky and Twilight for front face. Uh, he's a, the, he's the rest of the main so we talked about this news last week and that you two have shown two out of the six ponies. We did see a what you call this um reference guide for Rainbow Dash. So we got your ideas. But now we're looking at them face front. Hmm. What do I think? Ah. Uh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, only front faces are pretty fascinating. And looking at this, you can clearly tell that they're focusing on the front instead of the sides. Okay. Or the touch of Twilight. You can clearly tell that, oh wow, front face looks a bit weird. Why is that? Because they're, they're really focusing on the sides. You look at the sides, but it looks pretty normal. So, I'm guessing this this is one of those cases where it takes a lot of, it takes a bit of time to get used to it and get custom to the looks. But, um, what was it? We, we talked about it and it was what? Um, $30 was it? Yeah, $30. And for thirty dollars, looking like that, that's not bad. Now, I, what I think I do appreciate is that Applejack here has a silhouette of her hat, so that's awesome. So if you are interested, go check it out, or yeah, go buy it, pre-order or something like that. Anyway, moving on, IDW has more My Little Pony G four and G five comics coming very to speculations right <clears throat> uh let's idw nathan net natalie they're just gonna call her that has responded to speculation that idw will slow down it's my little pony comics according to her idw sorry, according to her idw still has multiple g4 and g5 comics in the works they will likely be released in the year so G5 comics may continue after My Little Pony. And recently, the website Leading Cool posted speculations article that discussed My Little Pony comics. First article claimed that IDW might have lost license to make My Little Pony comics. And the second further asserted that IDW My Little Pony Comics would be slowed down due to five poor audio reception. Reading cool news is notable well because it currently gets to exclusive gets to exclusively publish IDW solicitations this and one day early on this Friday. And uh, I, I, Ainan's one was posted as a comment on an Instagram post by Generation 5L News, in addition to confirming that he is currently still working on upcoming projects. He also stated that she has been promised more work come after those projects and points out a clear factual error in the bleeding. Article it it refers to Riley Farmer as the editor of the Melopony comic, but if you announced in June that she was no longer 
on them. Claim that IDW lost the license seems to be uh, nothing burger too. Um. So uh, let's. This is what wrote. I I work on. Right. Of the world. All right. I I work IDW my only, and I can say that I have not heard this directly at all, and still currently have worked for both G five and four and G five. Riley Farmer is not current editor either, so this article feels a little untrust. Trust why? Sounds like me speculation to me. Obviously, I don't know the and that very the plan into year, but still have not heard about any of this, and am still receiving work with promise of other projects down the pipeline. All right, that's cool. The only articles created for the from credited for some of the for heights are Andy Price and Kate Ron, and no other new comics have been yet. Anything that is work on would be released in this later. May we may find out what those projects are quite soon. I did I this January presentation will probably be released around September. Or October 16th. Retrospectively, right? This is anything. This is anything. Uh, as you can tell, the MPS show our review on mix and so on, but as you see that we are slow on the uptake. So sorry about that. With, uh, <laughs> it seems that everyone's busy and working with the this that we have here is going to be a bit. But hey, saying that we're not going to do it, it's just going to take a bit of time. All right, anyway, um, this is fascinating. This is fascinating. This is one of those scenarios where we got no idea if comic books, or is it again, who are they? Uh, dot, 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 dot. Bleeding cool, yeah. Uh, we don't know. We're not sure if bleeding cool news got one thing, and uh, Natalie got another thing. But from what I can tell, or from my speculation, I'm just theory crafting here. Um, take it a grain of salt or not, is that it could be that IDW is working on rights before they can do stuff, and looking at how five. Is Going, but still, people do enjoy the pony comics because I mentioned before the quality of the comics are really awesome and they're a lot of fun. Uh, it's a uh, it's another look, another point of view of how the all this, um, how the story or how the telling of a story from another point of view works, and that's cool. So having comics kind of be a all this um thinking on having the comics be a alternate way of telling a story is awesome. So that's fun. So companion piece. I don't feel that's right, but still. But still having comics around to enhance the story of the main show or just kind of tell another story an another way to tell the story is a lot of fun so that's fun and good so yeah I, I, I don't know man like even if it's the right thing Hasbro will probably think that hey Pony is not as popular as G4 back then but still it's making bank and now China is into it so why kill the goose now? Let, let's just farm it for a bit because if we can get the comics into China, they'll probably want it too. We're spreading 
the what you call this brands of G from classic to G4 to G5. There's a lot of fans out there. So why don't we just get going until there's nobody no until nobody's interested in it. Uh, to me it makes sense that way because China is a <clears throat> China is really pushing ponies now. And from what we saw from the previous news, they're using a bit of pony uh pony comic arts. Uh, pony comic arts. So if China knew that hey there's the pony comics and it's translated for them, they might want to pick it up and read it. So I say that's a win win. So yeah, um in all honesty, I think IDW love to create more comics and Hasbro thinks that hey, since China is kind of ramping up with the pony things with My Little Pony, might might as well kind of uh have IDW create more. And we can use that to further our reach in China and beyond. Yeah. I, I think that. I, I personally think that. I could be dumb, but I, I think that's a good idea. Anyway, moving on to last news for the week. <clears throat> Another pile of D4 My Little Pony plush figures and more from Miniso in China. Aha. <clears throat> Some, someone stop China. They're going to suppress, uh, surpass us in merchandise at this rate. The pistol says, we're going, uh, we, we got another giant flood of new stuff this time from a company called Miniso. These are uh, specifically released in four separate stores in China. I see, that's fascinating. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Why would you do that? <clears throat> All right. So, um, if you guys got no idea, uh, who or what Miniso is, I am going to try and Google search Miniso and see if I can show you guys what it is. All righty then. It's safe to. Um, all right, okay, cool. This is safe, all right. So, anywho, Mini So is a household or. Oh, how would I put this? Best thing I can relate to for Westerners out there, Americans, or so on, is basically like a bit and beyond kind of thing where they have household items uh, like lamps and plush dolls and I mean balls because you know one of those things that oh you, you can have random things and you can buy it at our place we have this and that and whatever it is uh, fashion accessories so on give or take digital products like we have cables and it's basically a I won't say Walmart because they don't serve. They do serve food, but what I mean they they don't serve um, things like your daily necessity, like your vegetables, your proteins, your meat and beef and whatnot. So they don't do that. But <clears throat> uh, what do they? What do they? They basically have other things like um, what you can find at a Daiso or what you can find at a Best Buy. I guess that's the best. Um, so, one of the few things that I personally noticed when I went to go here in Malaysia is that they they teamed up with Marvel to create a lot of Marvel stuff, and then uh, like they they did team up with uh, We Bear Bears, yeah. So that is cool too. And basically, they're just a lot of random stuff. So I can't really say that they're a bad company or not. I, but going back to ponies, so it seems that they'll be serving pony stuff like purses, bags, um, all this uh, tote bags, plush, and so on. Uh, they have big size plush, 
um, pony size plush, and I, I don't know how much they start, but this 140 yuan. Um, don't remember. But still, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, umbrellas and this and that, and even secret figures. Okay. And the part that blurs me out, like, confused me, is that they're putting up these products in four different stores. And they're just going to put it up for about a month. Make things a bit limited. Um, kind of cool, I guess. Making it a... Well, this making it exclusive. Still, um, starts on the 29th. And the twenty sorry uh, starts on the twenty first and twenty third for stores and will last about a month and so that's interesting that that's very interesting tote bags I wish I knew that's but still um yeah there's a lot of stuff uh, we're we're seeing a lot of Stuff like plushes and figures and comic books now. Comic books is just normal, but plushes and figures and just merchandising, merchandising, and merchandising. So yeah, uh, that's the news for this week. So uh, this week's news is pretty. So uh, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic, I've been doing my. So with my week, um, nothing new really, nothing much interesting besides the. Magic the Gathering and D, but that's like as per usual. If you ask, but cool. If you don't, no problem. But uh, that's yeah. I, I I guess I've I have I have this big. <clears throat> how would I put it? I guess I have this um annoying. What's the word? Something. It's very annoying. But the thing is that I noticed, or if you guys are subscribed to uh, or iTunes or wherever you get your podcast, you, you can see that the podcast is on 5.36. Granted that 5.37 is out on YouTube. And if you do follow the podcast website on Podcast.com was it? Yes, podcast with an S. Podcast.com. We're on 5.37. But somehow, the show is not being published or updated on iTunes. Could be wrong. Let me double check and see if there's... Now... No, 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 no latest episode out on the IT. So, latest one would be 536 on the Apple Podcast app or wherever you get your podcast. So, it seems that podcast is not being out. All right. So, I've worked this, I troubleshoot on this a bit and think about and think about it and just can get it to work. And one of the few reasons for this happening is that because somehow podcastwithnest.com uh, kind of suspended the channel or I don't know what idea reason for. So it took me a while to realize that hey, um, channel is suspended. Why? And you guys know the show. The show is kind of safe. Uh, I wouldn't say anything that could uh, could get it suspended. Like, yeah, uh, makes no sense. So, that aside, I got it reinstated. It's back, but it seems that I don't know. Stuff happened, and 
things are just cray cray. So now, I'm sitting here pondering why even try and just get this back up and working, or do I work, or do I just stop IQ? So, I know not many of you are going to listen to this or sense, but uh, I don't know. I mean, if you guys are interested in me continuing on with the podcast via podcast.com or whatever it is, or just getting the podcast audio, uh, like per usual, I'll probably create a new podcast channel. Uh, calling it the new MBS show, something like that. But still carrying on uh, this show. Um, just, just the new thing is just for differentiating from the other podcasts available on iTunes. So just making it something new, but probably carrying on with the number and an inside joke, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, um, I, I thought of doing that, but what do you guys think? Do you like to listen to the podcast via podcast. <laughs> listen to the podcast audio or just stick with you. Just let me know. Because um, this is just getting, how do I put this? Uh, this is just irritating me. Like, why, why, why no? Why are you not updating stuff? Like, hmm. I'm very, very, very mad. Arr, arr, arr. <clears throat> but anywho, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Uh, so, if you guys have any also just so you can contact at the ambition. Um, those Twitter account is at the but in my personal Twitter account is Anzo. Please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube, the bell icon to stay up to date, and also, sorry, um, links will be in the show notes below. If you like to support the show, you can. So at Patreon.com slash M show with what you get a week. Get a week already access to the discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and myself like thank you guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll and I'll catch you next week with another fun episode. See ya.